Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I am going to help you to understand all about events in integration, which is a new concept in integration. When I say new concept, it is a new feature in integration. And let's understand what events are. So basically what I'm going to cover, what is event? What is Oracle integration event? Publish event action, understanding of event pattern and use cases of event. So after completing this video, you will be able to know how do we use event feature in Oracle integration three. So let's begin. So basically what is event? Events basically are raised when something happens in the system. When something happens in the system, the system can be your, your HR application, it can be your ERP application, it can be your finance application, it can be your supply chain application, it can be your sales application. Any application can raise different, different events such as employee onboarded. When employee is onboarded, an event can occur like employee created. There may be an order created. When you create an order, Okay, there's an event that can be raised in the in the system. PO created. When a PO is created, then also an event can be raised and you have canceled your trip. When a trip is canceled, you would like to cancel your leaves. So you would like to do something like this. So basically, when our event are raised, multiple applications can be interested to subscribe those events so that they can act upon those events and can do something in their applications. For example, when an employee onboarded event occurs, an application can subscribe that event for the badge creation of that employee and the same details can be sent to the learning management system so that employee can do the mandatory trainings. So there are so many applications that can subscribe those events in parallel. That is the concept of event. But what is Oracle integration event? Let's understand this, which is a new feature introduced in 23.0C. So Oracle integration three has introduced event that we can create in our JSON format of our choice. So I have to define a payload. When you will publish an event, what type of data will be sent to this event? So Oracle integration three has introduced an event that you can create in the JSON format to publish and multiple subscribe can subscribe those events. So you have to create your event first. So this is the new feature. You can think of event is just like uh, like uh, order event. When uh, order event is created, of course, some data is going to be subscribed by subscribers. So now Oracle gives you a choice to create your own event. You define the events in JSON formatted files. The publish and subscribe features enables you to decouple producers and subscribers. When I say decouple, you can create the, uh, uh, I, I mean, you can start creating the event, but there may not be a producer, but once your event is defined, you can create your subscriber without having actual the producer. So that is the interesting, interesting feature but in gen 2 you have to first define the producer then only you will be able to create subscriber but here the mechanism is different you have defined the event now you can create subscriber without actually having the producer producer can be defined later this decoupling enables you to define an event and start building your subscriber for the event before the event is published so that is the decouple mechanism so this is how the, the events tab looks like. So under design, a, a new navigation events has been introduced that you will not see in the project as of now, but yes, you will see here. And then you have a create button to define your event. So like I mentioned, you can use events tab to create events in the JSON formatted file. Like when you create an event, you have to upload a sample JSON file or you can provide inline JSON as well. Now, how do we publish event? Once your event is created, once the event is created, you have to publish the event and you can publish event in multiple ways. So publish event action is a new action which has been introduced in the list of the actions. So this is a new action which allows to publish an event 
that enables subscribing integration to subscribe to this event. We can use any pattern, either app-driven or schedule integration pattern to use this action. So this is how our new action looks like publish event. And when you drop this publish event action, it will give you the list of events that you have created and you can choose whatever you would like to choose. And now the event pattern, a new pattern has also been introduced to support the events. So like, okay, the producer you have created here, which will publish the event, but how do I subscribe those events? So to subscribe those events, you have to use the event pattern. The event pattern allows you to subscribe an event that is published by producer. So again, you when you will then when you will use the event pattern, right? You have to use again. Uh, you have to use uh, which 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 event you would like to subscribe for. You will see the list of events that you have created earlier, and then you can create your subscriber based on that event. The subscriber subscribing integration event is triggered when the integration publishing the event is run. So the subscriber will run automatically. That is the main purpose of subscriber. The subscriber will be fired as soon as the producer has fired. Multiple integrations can subscribe to the same published event. So this is how the new pattern looks like. When you will use this pattern, it will give you the list of events that you can subscribe for. Now, a simple use case, employee onboarding. Where do we use this event? So employee onboarding, when an employee is onboarded, you would like to send an employee information into multiple application at the same time. It's not like one by one. You can send that data into multiple application parallelly. For example, you have a HRMS application where the employee will be created. Now, when an employee is created, you are going to create a publisher integration that will be triggered as, as soon as the HRMS, as soon as the employee is created, and then you will publish that event. And when event is published, you are going to create three subscriber and you can keep adding more and more, right? Like the badging app, it can be your on-premises AD, it can be your learning app. And when an event is published, all these three subscriber will be fired and the uh, employee will be onboarded in all those three applications. As of now, you can have 20 subscribers which can subscribe to single event. That's all about events in integration.